Okay, in this particular video we're going to be looking at uh, solving this, and by that we mean finding the value of x. So we've got 29 minus x divided by 4 equals x plus 5. Okay, so the easiest way of doing this is to make sure first that we get rid of this uh, denominator of 4. Well, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. Because if I multiply this side by 4, I've got basically 4 times 29 minus x over 4. Well, that's great because the 4 that's multiplied and then the 4 that's divided cancel themselves out. So what I end up with is just getting rid of that 4 denominator and I get left with 29 minus x. Okay, on the right hand side there I need to multiply both terms by 4. Now just be very careful about this because I've seen this quite a lot. It's not 4 times x, it's 4 times x plus 5. You have to make sure that you multiply both sides by 4. Okay, so the first thing is I need to expand that bracket 29 minus x remains the same on the left hand side. On the right hand side I've got 4 times x is 4x and then 4 times plus 5 is going to be plus 20. And then really it's just a case of making sure that you get x is on one side and numbers on the other. So at the moment I've got 4x here and minus x. Well, kind of don't like minus numbers, don't like minus x, so I'm going to add x to this side. Now if I do that it means this and this will cancel themselves out. So that minus x and plus x disappear and I get left with 29. On the right hand side however I have to add the x because we've got to maintain the balance that we created here. We've got to make sure that we add x to both sides. So I've got 4x plus x is 5x and then plus 20. Okay, well we're getting a little bit closer now. I need to get that 20 over to here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minus the 20 from this side, but again, in the interest of keeping balance, I have to do it to both sides. So the plus 20 and the minus 20 will now disappear, and I get left with 5x on this side. On this side, I've got 29 minus 9. Well, that's fine. Now I've got 29 minus 20, so that's going to be 9. Okay, so 9 equals 5x. Well, it's really just a case then of finding the value of 1x. So to do that, I've got 5 lots of x. So I'm going to divide through by 5. Okay, because if I do that, 5 divided by 5 equals just 1x. So I'm going to call that x on its own, and then I've got 9 divided by 5. Well, I can either write that as a fraction, as I've done there, a top-heavy fraction, 9 and over 5, or I can write it as a mixed number, 1 and 4 fifths, or if I wanted to, I could write it as a decimal, and that's going to be the same as x equals 1.8. Um, it doesn't really matter. I've got to say in most of the GCSE higher level type papers, they're quite happy if you leave it as a fraction. They might prefer you to have a mixed number, but convert it for, to a decimal if you prefer. It's absolutely no issue. I hope that's been okay for you. Please do add a comment below in the comments section. I'll always come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Thank you.